So this is the women's retreat and it's at El Capitan and it's just a perfect getaway for the women um, of our church because it's close enough yet far enough away from the kids and the men and the lives that they are really leaving behind for a weekend so that they can come and, and just get close to God and, and close to each other and be in this beautiful place. It takes so much on a Friday after a long week of work and there's, there's that temptation, I just want to stay at home, I want to stay with what's comfortable and familiar because it is a risk getting to know women and sharing ourselves honestly. But I find every year something happens. I not only get to know women better, but also know God better and I'm always glad that I go. Despite that initial thing on Friday, I just, I want to stay, it's, it's, it's hard, it's, it's a risk, so I'm glad I'm here. Like, I feel like I'm kind of surrounded by, like, moms. <laughs> it's really kind of comforting, like, because, I don't know, I miss my mom being here, and I wish she was here, <laughs> we too. All do. So I feel like it's just really cool getting, like, that wisdom from, like, women who are have so much more experience than I do at that point. So it's just been interesting to see what they've learned throughout their life and, like, what I can take from those situations. I don't read my Bible. I don't really know what it contains. I really don't even know what, how to pray. And I think a big part of going to this women's retreat this weekend is an extension of that commitment that I made when I got baptized about a month ago. And I'm like, I'm going to start living my life. I'm going to start living a Christian life. And it brings me great joy. And I'm, you know, times may be tough sometimes, but I am committed to this. And so that's why I'm here.